Dang, that edit though. What's up guys, this is Sancho West and this is my custom binds video uh, for controller. I do play on PlayStation 4, but if you are a PC player uh, and you would like to your, try this, this is for the PlayStation 4 controller. And I know there's a lot of other people out there with different custom binds, but this is the one that I feel extremely comfortable with. Some other people out there in my community have tried it out as well and they like it. Now, one of the ones I'm gonna give a shout out to is DREC. I want to put the subscript uh, description down below you probably already seen it if you already been searching a lot of custom bind videos but I'm gonna put the description down below they kind of got me inspired me to try this the main goal for custom binding on your controller is to have the edit button be an instant button rather than a hold so you could essentially be able to move as fast as possible you know and work on these these type of edits that allow you to be very dangerous as you progress up and up into uh, you know quote unquote the I want to I wouldn't want to say the pro scene because you don't necessarily have to be in the pro scene to try these things out so that's why I like about the the setup is the instant hold now that's the main thing so the goal of that is you have to remove buttons off of circle you have to remove some things so let's go ahead and jump in the menu now to do the custom controls you go here right about below me you'll see all these things and it says custom right now on the custom part uh it will allow you what i would do is first reset to builder pro okay you want to reset to builder pro which this does is it adds the base of your custom bind to be builder pro the reason why i like builder pro is simply because of the building let me go ahead and just remove myself here for you in a second and where you can see everything all right so the builder pro allows you uh the reason why i like builder pro as the base of this custom bind is because for me my muscle memory is so intact with stair piece roof piece wall piece and floor piece being all on the shoulder buttons i have tried things one second let me just get away from this llama <laughs> all right i have because i hear it and i'm sure you hear it too i have tried things where i move the build buttons on the d-pad it's just uncomfortable after playing for so long so basically i kept the building pro uh building pro as the base now let's go ahead and take a look at it like I said, you want to get the edit button. You see the cursor, the edit button down to just the white text edit because it no longer becomes a hold action. It becomes an instant edit button. Now, all you got to do is click it and then just select it in the actions. Now, what that does is because in the normal configuration, it says edit building piece is a hold, right? So what you do is, and it's a switch mode as well. So I took it off switch mode. As you can see, it's on my D-pad. It's on my touchpad. Now, with switch mode, it's another way of saying it's pull out, pulling out your builds, right? So this big button, the big touchpad, the biggest button on the controller is responsible for my builds. And I'll show you that you could also press the top side of it. And with your index finger, you could press the top side of it as well. And it works the same way. So that's what I really like about it. I kept toggle pickaxe as triangle. The reason why I did it this way is it's basically the same buttons except the map. The map is the only thing that's basically moved. Your edit still on circle. Your toggle pickaxe is still on triangle. The only two buttons that have moved is map and switch mode. And this just allows you to be very uh, aggressive with your building while at the same time not losing the muscle memory you may have built from building pro and that's what i really uh, like about this entire thing is that it, it essentially allows you to keep that that muscle memory because without it i always felt like i, I was going to struggle you know i always felt like it, it was in my mind it was easier for me to learn a new button rather than relearn what a button does does that make sense now a lot of people out there does autos uh, sprint by default i really like controlling my sprint uh d-rex video he says he put the walk function on the touchpad but i feel like it, it will be a, a huge disservice um to the the entire the touchpad itself and the main thing I've, i almost forgot about this the main thing the reason if i had a choice i would put r3 
or it says crouch and repair as my edit button because I'm mainly looking at the things that I'm editing with R3 anyway with the right joystick. But because it does not allow you to do, I'll show you real quick, it does not allow you to reset it, right? Because you have to press R3. It doesn't allow you to do that because there is no custom bind for R3. But essentially, that is the gist of it. I really enjoy it. Now, here is some some things that you have to be wary of when you move the edit button into an instant. Uh, you have to be very accurate with it because this thing will pick anything that you edit, right? It will sometimes when you first do this, you'll accidentally pick the floor. Sometimes you pick the roof. Sometimes you pick a piece above it, right? And you just got to keep working with it and understand that you have to now be very accurate with what you're going to do because without it it's not going to be great for you right it's just not going to be it's going to be more of a, a hassle because you're going to be tripping over your your edits but just just trust yourself and keep working on it before every stream i do stream on twitch.tv slash sanchez monday through friday sometimes on saturdays um i i sit 20 to 30 minutes before my actual gaming session and i practice these things I practice all kinds of edits with the pyramids and things of that sort. So, you know, that's just the, the binds that I have. Um, I will break down. Let me break down some other little things, and then I'll show you some clips. Um, the main reason that the biggest, another hurdle for a controller player to get over is that when you do this edit, right, and say you were farming something in the past. Oh, I should have picked up a weapon. Let me go get a weapon. When you're farming something in the past, right, you use your pickaxe. When you go back to your edit, you still or to your weapon, you still have your pickaxe out. A PC player could easily switch to whatever weapon they want, but because you're limited on the controller, you could only go back to what you last had out. And what I mean is, so if you have your pick, you're farming, and someone shows up, and you go ahead and do this crazy build, right? And you want to do a quick little fancy edit. Normally, you can't because where's all the guns? Normally you can't because you have your pickaxe out. So let me just show you like what I do in that situation real quick. This better have a good gun. All right, that worked. Okay. As I was saying, so say I'm farming here, someone shows up. I do this edit, right? And I want to do a quick like peek down edit. You could normally, you could still edit like this, right? No problem, right? But again, you're going to have to deal with that switch. So when you go, when you press this button, again, the biggest button, you can even press it up here. I'm pressing it up here, so if I'm playing, I could just slide. You see that? That's what's really great about it. That's why I like having Switch pulling out your bills up here. But as you can see, when I press it, I'm back to this, unless I've had my weapon out. So I've gotten into the habit, if I, ha if I ever see my pickaxe out, just pressing triangle real fast. Now, the same scenario, I get in a fight, I build up here, now I'm here. You don't have to go back to this button to edit. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> well, it, it, you know, it's, it took me like season three to realize that. You could edit with your gun out. You see what I'm saying? If you had your gun out last, you know, and then you could... I, I literally sit there and I practice that, right? Again, if you have your gun out last, when you, you could you could still edit, but if you need to continue building and you press the switch mode again, your gun will come back out again. Your weapon. That's the that's like the big thing about that that I really like this big button as the switch because it, it allows you just to just to keep your fingers really close to this button, um, your your other builds as well. So. That's the biggest tip that I have about that. When you have your weapon out, you could do that. I mean, it's great to come down with a shotgun as well. You know, surprise people, peek edits, you know, all that kind of crazy stuff. But if you accidentally have your pickaxe out and then you build something and you want to do, a, again, an edit and you press it and you have it out, just press triangle again. Or you could press L1 and R1, but I've just gotten into the habit of just pressing triangle after you know the edit there's like a double tap and then when you hear it when you hear it that I mean the, the the gun in your thing you got it so those are my binds again let me go ahead and show you that's what I've been working with it's it's up my game a lot 
Um, it's making me very comfortable with turtling, very comfortable with someone surprising me, very comfortable with doing some fancy edits. I'll put some clips at the end of this video to show what I'm working with. And again, I, I would like to stress that I am not the, uh, the best controller player out there. I'm just someone that who has been working really hard on building Pro and, and using now custom binds. I feel very comfortable. This is like a great like a segue bind so you could slowly start exploring yourself a great custom bind for yourself and again it's all catered to whatever you feel comfortable with I'm sure people in the comments will have something that will be a little bit whatever right that's cool with you you know long as you're comfortable with it and long as you you practice with it that's the main thing I want to do that uh, a lot I, I, again some people take the jump on the L3 button and they just do the stick jumping which is what D-Rex video recommends as well I'm just not comfortable with that I'm very comfortable with jumping with X and moving again I said that with this custom bind, I don't want to learn what a new bu what a button does differently. I just want to add a new button. Of course, if you had a scuff or things like that with paddles in the back, you could kind of manipulate it a little bit more. But this is what I have working with. If you like this video, uh, I, again, one of my main things before I go is I always said that I'm not going to make a tutorial video, tutorial, <laughs> tutorial video, a tutorial video until I'm 100% sure of what I'm talking about and I believe what I'm talking about so that I know that it will help people out there. Um, so this is why I'm making the video a little bit late than usual, and this is why I'm, I, I don't try to make tutorial videos for everything. Um, so yeah, if you like what you saw, hit the like, share, subscribe button, things of that sort. This totally helps out my channel. Uh, I will continue working on this and refining this and trying to get a little bit better, but I, I highly recommend this, again, as a transitional uh, from building pro to custom binds. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll leave you some with some little clips that I've been working with. That it, you know, it's a work in progress. Some nice little edit plays. So they may look very basic, but these are the kind of plays that I have not were not able to perform comfortably using Building Pro. All right, guys. My name is Sancho West. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Dude, it's insane. Everyone's here. The whole lobby's here. Feels that way. I think it's just one. Got him. Got him. Got nice. him. Nice. Good stuff. baby wasn't clean it was sloppy but uh hey oh come on dude the one place that i don't shoot don't sweat to take me That was a good edit. No, dude. Woo. Yet. Nice little edit right edit, there. Edit, baby.